I would love uh, to take you to the book of John. I believe it's the only scripture where we hear John talking. John in scriptures, we see lines, few lines in scriptures where we heard John talking about Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, you people, hallelujah. Those are the scriptures, few of them. We hear John the Baptist talking. John the Baptist never wrote any scripture. But we hear them quoting his words that he said about Jesus. John, when he, he saw Jesus, he was aware that his role was about to end. When John he saw Jesus, he was aware that his road is about to be over. Make it first this side. We hear John saying he must increase. I must decrease. Hallelujah. You want to be a Christian? Let Jesus increase in your life. You must decrease. Am I talking about here? If you want to be a true believer, Jesus must increase in you. Then, you yourself, you must decrease. I was talking to people in Zim Friday night. Hallelujah. Uh, shout amen. I said to them, you Christians, you are having attendance. Your life is yours. Car is yours. House is yours. Cell phone is yours. Chain and watch is yours. Everything in your life belongs to you. But you call yourself a believer. But he never said anything that was against the Bible. We hear John telling his disciples that they must leave him and follow Jesus. And John was aware that Jesus was the son of God. What makes you Christian to fail your Christianity? You want to go to churches and remain raw. Hallelujah. Uh, shout amen. You want to go to church, you remain yourself. Remain with the same attitude. Remain with the same character. Then what is the use of the word of God? Because one way or the other, church must change your, change your life and change you. Except if you didn't give your life to Christ, church cannot change you. Hallelujah. You see, you are here, you are failing even to say amen. Hallelujah. You are still behaving the same behavior that you were having before you became a Christian. You are still talking like an unbeliever, but you call yourself a Christian. You are still having those friends, wrong friends in your life. That you had before he became a Christian. Who is increasing? Who is decreasing? Because in your life someone must increase and another one must decrease. Who is increasing in your life? If it's Christ who is increasing, the one who dominates must control the body and your life. You might not know about 
Tell Debbie a liar. Again. Again. Jesus is saying, don't be afraid of those who kill the flesh. But be afraid of the one who killed the flesh. After that, he takes your soul and throw it to the lake of fire. If we are not increasing, allowing Jesus to increase, we remain raw like uncooked meat. Christianity of nowadays is just a name. We are a corrupt generation. We don't have believers anymore. Christianity of nowadays, people, they just go to church. They don't know why they became Christians. Look at your neighbor, ask your neighbor, do you know why you became a Christian? Again? Look on a neighbor, ask your neighbor, do you know why you became a Christian? John the Baptist is saying, I myself, I must decrease. Him, he must increase. Meaning, I submit myself. Let me tell you something. John the Baptist was a humble man. He came to pave the way for the one who was coming. When the one who was coming arrived, John accepted. Aye! John accepted that Jesus has arrived. If you accepted that Jesus has arrived in your life, or you are still controlling your life. If you accepted that Jesus you must take control of your life, or you are still controlling your life. In the book of John, John is said, I must decree, he must increase. For my life to make sense as a believer, I must allow Christ to take over. Gospel must change you people. Don't try to change the gospel. We are very small to tell Jesus what he's supposed to do. Hallelujah. Can you say in the name of Jesus? Can you say in the name of Jesus? Can you say in the name of Jesus? I met another man in Zim. Shout amen. <laughs> I won't tell you if you don't shout amen. Shout amen. Uh, remember, our, our church was ours. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So this man, is a, he said he's a pastor. Uh, before I arrived, when I arrived, I was parking outside because there was a lot shedding, so they were busy going to hire a generator. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, shout amen. amen. So this pastor came. He started telling me how, how big he is. He even removed the flyer on his pocket. He said, I'm invited to this church. I'm here to see this man. He's talking to me. You know, when you, 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 you have increased yourself, you cannot even see proper. Then I said, let me see the face. Hey, it's, it's our flyer. He looked at me, look on the flyer, but he cannot see it's me. That's the increase of Christians. We increase ourselves to the manner whereby we are blinded that we are the ones who are supposed to worship. Jesus will never worship us. Aye! Can you say in the name of Jesus? <laughs> Can you say in the name of Jesus? We become so blind whereby we don't even see reality. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then he started explaining to me 
Then I asked him one question after talking too much. I said, so why are you moving all these churches? Because the Holy Spirit, God must find you a home. The day you enter a home, God will tell you you belong here. Hallelujah. Aye. When the service started, he didn't even waste time. He jumped the front, he took the mic, he started singing. Ah, uh -uh. You know us, we don't operate like that. Hallelujah. When he was singing, I said, ah, maybe a man of God wants to sing. I started speaking in tongues. You know me with tongues, ah? Huh? Hallelujah. If you want me to value your Christians, don't speak with uh, in tongues. This dance of, of uh, I don't know where they take them from, China. I don't believe them. I believe their tongues. But what I'm hearing, majority is wrong. Hallelujah. I want to show you how you are supposed to, 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 to allow him to increase. If you don't allow him to take over, you can be faster than Jesus. Why at least you are preaching Jesus? Am I talking about here? Can you say in the name of Jesus? <laughs> I will chase all of you people. Say in the name of Jesus. Can you say in the name of Jesus? Can you say in the name of Jesus? Then I said to God, tell me one word about this man only. I don't need six one. That will make him small. When you are a man of God, you are a prophet, sometimes you don't prophesy only. There is time where we prophesy to prove point. That you are smaller than Jesus. If John the Baptist saw that he was supposed to decrease, he must increase. Why are we not having that spirit of John the Baptist? Christians of nowadays, there's no humbleness. They can't persevere. They can't listen. Aye! Can you say in the name of Jesus? If you are still having that the me, can you say me? Can you say me? Say my beg. Uh, say my bag, my money, my watch, my hair, my shoes, my life. Then what belongs to Jesus? In that life of yours. Show me one that belongs to Jesus. Because everything you're owning already. Hallelujah. Amen. I am. John the Baptist, when they went to him, they said, are you the prophet? Are you the Messiah? He said, no. They said, who are you? He didn't say, I'm John. He said, I'm the voice from the wilderness. Do you see how humble is this man? I am the voice from the wilderness. I'm here to scream for you to hear that there is someone who's coming. Hallelujah. He was there to prepare the way of our Lord Jesus. When he heard that Jesus has arrived, he celebrated. When he was supposed to baptize Jesus, he wanted to refuse. Because Jesus was greater than him. When he baptized Jesus, he was aware that his role was over. He knew he must decrease. Why are we not having the spirit of John to allow Jesus to increase in our lives? Why are we not having the spirit of John to allow Jesus to take over? Can you say, Holy Spirit, take over? Ah, you can do better, you precious. Say, Holy Spirit, take over. Again. 
Again. You can't be a believer. You are raw. You continue raw. You are the one who are increasing. Let me tell you something, you precious people. When Jesus enters into your life, he changes even the way you walk. Hallelujah. When Jesus he enters in your life, he changes even the way you talk. He's increasing. He's removing everything that he doesn't love or like in your life. But if you remain the same, you must know you didn't change. Never accepted Jesus. You never gave your life to Christ. If you gave your life to Christ, you will understand. You must increase. I must go down. Hallelujah. Aye. Can you say in the name of Jesus? <laughs> I'm going to chase you. Say in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Is he increasing in your life? Or you are the one increasing? Is he increasing in your life? Or you are the one who are increasing? Jesus must increase in our lives. Hallelujah. Let us have the spirit of John. Tell a neighbor, neighbor. Let us have the spirit of John. Tell a neighbor, neighbor. Let us have the spirit of John. John was a mighty prophet of God. He was the Elijah. Jesus, he explains. We discover that John, he was the Elijah that lived before who came to prepare the way but john who managed to live two lives he was humble you you are having only one life you are disorganized if he is not increasing in our lives we are going to do a lot of mistakes If he is not increasing in our daily lives, we are going to destroy ourselves. Yeah, my are you aware that John was the, was the Elijah? I'm going to take you to the scripture. When his disciples, they say, what does the scripture mean when they say, Elias will come? Jesus said, no, Elias came. After he said the statement, his disciples, they are the ones who conclude. They say, oh, John the Baptist. Aye! Can you say in the name of Jesus? I'm about to chase all of you. Say, say in the name of Jesus. Let me say, by mistake, you live twice. By mistake, you live what? And then you, you discover that you lived 2,000 years ago and you are back. Can you greet us the way, the, the attitude that you have? Can you greet people? You can't be greeting people. Because you, you cannot decrease. But John was away. He was there before. And he came back as John the Baptist. But John, he remained humble. Aye! There are people who get sick, they go to hospital. Then they pronounce dead. Huh? Then by mistake, they wake up. I, I can't say by God's grace because to them it's a mistake. But say by mistake. Uh, you people can say by mistake. Yes, by mistake they wake up. Why I'm saying by mistake? Because they don't consider God as God in other. When you find them talking, I was like, ah, me, I don't die. Remember, I was dead two years ago. What happened? When I was in Moshua, ah, oh, I came out. 
हाले लोया आया है और व्हेन दैट कार इन दैट कार्स देन आफ्टर कार एक्सीडेंट आई वाज प्रोनाउंस्ड डेड व्हाट हैपेंड इन फ्यू आवर्स आई कैम बैक because you don't want to a a a decrease you continue increasing yourself no matter god did favor you cannot see favor in your life that's the problem about people who doesn't want a jesus to take control of their lives they don't see what jesus is doing in their lives jesus he blesses you you call it luck jesus he uplifts you you call it ma- a magic Jesus he blesses you with another blessing you say these ones are ancestors ay ay tell devil a liar <laughs> ah, i's better wake up tell devil a liar again again hallelujah ay ay as we are supposed to decree you will take space in our lives the papa is said in Deuteronomy 5 verse 9 i am a jealous god in the book of sachara 8 in verse 3 i am a jealous god ay ay john the baptist he was away He had life before Christ. He was given a privilege to live with the first generation, then he came to the second generation. In the book here in Genesis, only Enoch, he was humble in a manner whereby God he saw that he doesn't deserve to be buried. You God knows you through he knows you about your problems and dramas that you are causing hallelujah can you say in the name of jesus <laughs> i say in the name of jesus how does god know you if you ask yourself that question does he know you as a wrestler does he know you as a as a as a as a trouble maker does he know you as a believer who accepted Christ because the more we grow up we grow in christianity the more we decrease the more we worship the more he becomes more in our lives ayay The more we worship, the more he becomes part of us. Hallelujah. You people will chase you can you shout amen. amen. You're not supposed to come to church like others. Shout amen. amen. Church is not about number. Church is about the grace. Hallelujah. Me I can preach no matter you are men you are few I preach the same. It's not about you. Prophets didn't come down because of people. It came down because of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah. If we are not allowing him to take over we are going to find ourselves in problems if we are not allowing him to increase in our lives meaning we are the ones who are increasing that's why christianity is no longer working for us did you repent ask your neighbor did you repent look on your neighbor ask your neighbor did you repent If you never repented 
You can't increase in you. 